May the storm of gaming be with you. Ignition. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Storm Striker SX9 here with episode 6 of my Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition Let's Play for Storm Singularity, part of Summertime Splash, and the RPG game series all in one. In the last episode, we were in Vault 81, fighting a bunch of super mutants. Most of them were super mutant overlords. Then we ran into the Enclave. We got captured and put imprisoned in the enclave base we escaped with the help of mr eden and of course there was sort of a mutiny as well the enclave was literally fighting each other anyways we escaped we came back to the citadel where we are now about to go and do a bit more action. So, next up, as you can see by this giant robot in front of me, that is Liberty Prime. We are about to go out and have some fun. So, will you, shall you come with me and watch the action with me? It's gonna be loads of fun. All right, let's talk to, uh, we got our trusty companions, Star Paladin Cross, with us, and Sentinel Lions. So let's talk to her. Are you ready now? We can't afford to keep standing around like this. I'm all ready. Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't let that thing step on you. Yes, don't let okay. Liberty Prime step on you. One more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. At Watch least stay 20 feet away Rover from him. should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out. Liberty Pride is online. All systems nominal. Weapons, art, mission, the destruction of any and all Chinese communists. This is the Fallout 3 version of Liberty Prime, by the way. Of course, if you've played Fallout 4, Liberty Prime looks sort of more upgraded and different. It looks a lot better, actually. I can't wait till we do a Fallout 4 Let's Play. That's going to be loads of fun. All right, guys. There goes Liberty Prime. We should rest a bit. It's getting dark. There, now for yours. Stand still. Ah, 
Well, you magnificent bastard! You did it! Don't thank me yet, boss. We still need to get out of here. Let's go, while the guard's away from the front gate. Not so fast, my flesh rotten friend. That girl became a So basically, we have to follow Liberty Prime. It's gonna be loads of fun. If you're doing this mission, make sure to stay behind Liberty Prime, at least 20 to 25 feet behind him. Because if you're in front of Liberty Prime and he steps on you, you're dead instantly. And you don't want to get caught in his explosions either. Because he throws, he literally throws atom bombs. And those are technically his grenades. And if you're in the path of it, the explosions, you better stay clear. Because you will die. But like I said, always at least stay 20 feet behind him. If you're in front of him and you get caught in his explosions or he steps on you, you're dead instantly. So it doesn't matter what level you are. You will still die. So always stay behind him. Also, hey, Paladin Glade died. Oh well. Nice knowing you, Paladin Glade. Enclave soldier. Ooh, hellfire armor. Yes. Let's put the hellfire armor on and drop the other one. Um. Lion's Pride Power Armor. So we have our own Lion's Pride Power Armor now. Okay. Go ahead and drop that one. All right. Red Charger. No, don't say that. Don't repeat what the robot says. They bleed just like anything else. Just go with it and stay behind them. Whoa! That guy lost his legs. Oop. I didn't mean to do that. Come on. Just one up. Oh my gosh. Go. And there we go. This now. Another one here. It's the same one. That's where his leg went. Oh my gosh. See what I mean by dismemberment? Here's another one. Thanks for your power cells. That's repaired. Communist detected on American soil. Lethal force engaged. Yeah, 
Yeah, stay behind Liberty Prime. You don't want to get caught in the crossfire. He literally throws grenades the size of atomic bombs. And they make their own mushroom cloud. Ooh, Tesla armor. Yeah. Also take that missile. Where? Paladin Star Cross. Here's your helmet. Necessary in this location. Yes, I know. Here's your helmet. In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. I wanted to give you a helmet. There you go. You now have a helmet. Lead the way. Dark Paladin Cross now has a helmet. Initiating Directive 7 3. Engaging Red China. Stop shooting at Liberty Prime. Thanks for your can of pork and beans. Domino falls. Composition. Type established strategy. Inadequate. Revised. Charge. I've got one. Flank him. Democracy. Engage him. Okay, who's shooting me? Engaging Probably China Raiders. Invader. Could also be Super Mutant. Because they're all out here, too. Bottle of whiskey. Tennessee whiskey, baby. I didn't mean to pick that up. There is literally enclave soldiers literally littering this highway. Dandy boy apples. So we're going back to the Jefferson Memorial. Instamash. Are you okay, Liberty Prime? German Chang will fail. China will fall. 
Take out that vertebrate. Liberty Primal get him. Get him, Liberty Prime. Get him. Yeah, vaporized. No, what are you doing? Communism is a temporary setback. The freedom. Area secured. Well, that's just an alliance, right? Did you say area secured? Stay sharp and stick close to me until we're in the control room. Destroy that damn vertebrate. He's stepping on the vertebrate. All right, before we go in here, I'm gonna save it just in case it crashes. It's just a precaution, just in case the game crashes. All right. I've been here before. Let's try this again. All right, it did not crash this time. We are now back in the Jefferson Memorial. Look who's inside! Headshot! That's an alliance! Stop getting the line of fire! Headshot! I don't even know if that was a fiery headshot! This is the Enclave. They've taken over Project Purity. And we have to give it back. Shot. Targets engaged. Tesla armor. Yes. All right, now that we got our Tesla armor, let's make sure to get it repaired. Yes, when you combine the same type of armor or the same type of weapon, it lets you repair it. It only works with the same type though. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Look, I don't want to fight you. Give it up, Autumn. You lost. I'm going to enjoy killing you. You're in over your head, I'm afraid. But this is the path you choose for yourself. Tell your father I said hello. Whoa! 
Give me some help with this one. <laughs> one shot. Yeah. Well, that takes care of that. By now, the pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. Hello. Hello, is anyone there? Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee. Something's wrong with the fire. We're both here. I'm grabbing his finger. Answer. I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now! If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well... So much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? I'll do it. I'll start the purifier. You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. It's come you this far. With your presence here. No! Start bellowing and crossfire in here! Remember that passage? 216? Yep, that's the code to activate the purifier. We've done just that. If you're still there, the purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. And so it was that the Lone Wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101 intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child, selflessness, compassion, Honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. It was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last free and pure for any and all. The Capital Wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. 
for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war, war never changes. Weeks later, we have a comatose. After all this, to be left in a state like that, careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe, you're in the citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Where's Sarah? Is she okay? What's going on? What happened? How did I get here? Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. What about the purifier? Did it work? Did we win? Did we beat the Enclave? Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. What about the Purifier? Did it work? Indeed it did. The Tidal Basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the Wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the Wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. How long was I out? Just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. So, what happens now? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal. But the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. I find... I found a Brotherhood holotag. What should I do with it? Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our Keeper of the Scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. Where can I find Scribe Jameson? She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. Where is Sarah? Is she okay? She's right here. Unresponsive, but stable. To see that you've recovered gives me hope. I'd like to know more What's going on with the Purifier? The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. I have to go now. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. Alright, we did it, guys. 
We watch it, will you? All right, we did it, guys. We beat the main campaign, but since it said two weeks later, we are now in what is called broken steel. It's called broken steel. Guard Paladin Cross is around here somewhere. Hey, just focus on what needs to be done right now. You honor us with your presence here. I can't believe we survived that. Hail. Okay. Need. Well, it's good to see that you're on your feet again. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves? Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? He said you've given me the de- he said you'd give me the details. Well, Owen does have quite a bit on his mind lately, as I'm sure you can imagine. This is the first time the actions of the Brotherhood have affected him in such a personal manner. Please, step over here. I'll bring you up to speed. Oh, you're taking me back to the map, huh? All right. Need something, friend? I'm following you. You wanted me to follow you. I'll give you a brief history of what's happened over the last few weeks and what's going on now. As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters here was utterly destroyed. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other Enclave locations throughout the Wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. This has not been the case. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point an old military installation in Rockland, to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in eliminate any opposition inside and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Now, did you have any other questions? If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise, Paladin Tristan will be waiting. I'll alert him that you're on your way. How is Liberty Prime holding up? Performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. We're fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well, <laughs> the rest was easy. What's going on with the Purifier? It was determined that the Brotherhood should directly oversee the Purifier, as so as to prevent any mishaps. Scribe Bigsley was placed in charge of the operation, and is directly overseeing our efforts. 
I have to go now. Don't hurry back. The Brotherhood is at your service. Yes, it is. You honor us with your presence here. Is it bad luck walking under a staircase? I can't go out there without Paladin Tristan. I mean, now I got Paladin Tristan on my mind. Thanks, game. The Brotherhood is at your service. You know what I mean. Paladin Cross. That's what I'm looking for. Finding your way about all right? Oh. I am vigilant. There you are. Good to see you. I would like your and assistance. And it is my duty to offer it. As I have sworn, I shall follow and protect you. Okay, now she's following me. So, the next thing that's Welcome. coming up is what's known as the first DLC of Fallout 3, which is called Broken Steel. And this is the, this is the DLC that lets you fully join the Brotherhood of Steel and become a knight. We have to meet this Paladin Tristan, which now I can say his name. The brother. So it only took six episodes to beat the main story of Fallout 3. So we have to go way over here, the Rockland Car Tunnel. And we can go there from the, up here, the Smith Casey's garage that's closer, but we don't have to walk the entire way. I've got contact. I've got your back. We're on the line. Hey look, it's Deathclaw. Deathclaw versus Yao Guai. The Deathclaw wins. Watch what is this? Fallout Pokemon Edition? It's getting dark again. Albino Rad Scorpion. You see anything, Enclave? Shoot it. <laughs> Especially those iBots. And Paladin Cross just got unconscious again. Alright. Oh my goodness. Okay. I g my goodness. This is a scorpion, guys. It's not a spider. That's an albino crowd scorpion. And he's supposed to be the strongest of them all. 
They also have something called an albino death claw. And that is also the strongest death claw in the game. And Star Paladin Cross got unconscious again. I made it so the followers won't die or get killed. Made them essential. That's another mod that I got. It makes it so they just get un unconscious. It's not good losing a, a follower or a companion. This, we're not playing this game in hardcore mode. Which you can, by the way. It's your choice. <laughs> See that on the corner? Star Paladin Cross keeps getting unconscious. She is following me, but she's also still fighting those darn rad scorpions. Hey, look, there's another death claw over there. By the way, you'll start seeing death claws once you get to level 30. And we are level 41. Yeah, we haven't leveled up since. That's the third death claw we ran into. Might have been the fourth. Another albino rad scorpion. They must have fallen way over here. Okay, they're get they're gone now. I remember this area. Oh my gosh. Albino rad scorpions. And there was two of them that time. Hostile. There's another one. That's a giant rad scorpion. So their stinger is the weak spot. Everything else is all armor. The scorpions are exoskeletal, sort of. They're st they're also known as bugs. They're a type of bug, anyways. They resemble a crab, but yeah. Except they're desert crabs over uh, water crabs. Scorpions. Got company. Target acquired. All right, I'm changing weapons. I really need to get some ammo for that M60. Look who's back amongst the living. Some of us were starting to wonder if you and Sarah were going to pull through. Good to see you too. I'm here to help. Is that so? Well, it'll be good to have another soldier we can count on. Basic rule of thumb on these operations. Keep your head down and let the robot do most of the heavy lifting. 
He can take it better than you can. What do you want me to do? Okay, I'm ready to go. All right. You stay back with me and keep safe. Once we've reached the facility, we'll talk about who does what. Until then, we do this by the numbers. Same strategy has worked just fine for the last two weeks. Let's get moving. Things should be underway by now. Your father would be proud of you. It's been pretty standard for the last week or so. We get intel on positions, go in and burn them out. The tin. Oh! Excuse me! Can does most of the work, honestly. I can't complain, it keeps our casualties down. Scribes pulled information about this place day before yesterday. Some communications facility. We're thinking if it's active, we can find out who they're talking to and get the last of the locations nailed down. Remember, stay 20 feet away from him. At least behind. Your father would be proud of what you've done. Die. 
Soviet democracy. Chinese victory. Impossible. Oh no! We need to find out what the hell just happened. There's no time to talk. Get your ass inside that base and help the troops locate the source of their transmission. Now, soldier, now! Hey, wait. You said you didn't need my help. This isn't what I signed up for. Yeah, well, that was before they blew up our one advantage. Consider it a field promotion. Now get going. Hello. Oh. My. Gosh. Liberty Prime just got destroyed. What do we do? Oh, I need to heal. Ammo box. Thanks for that. Those. Watch it, will you? Engaging hostile. Come what? Lethal force authorized. Where? I honestly don't know why I did that. I wasn't trying to pick it all up. Engaged! 
Enemy Opening up. Taking fire. fire. All clear. Stand down. A bottle of scotch. Shots. Our works too. Up, oh. sever uplink. Update standing orders. Download telemetry data to use server uplink. All right. Come on out and let's fight face to face. This is Contact foolish. Turn. Reveal yourself. Okay. Okay. That's broken. Huh.
I got in major focus mode, guys. That's why I wasn't talking very much. Got in a serious dude out with the Enclave there. Tell me you've got something, anything we can use. I found some encrypted data on one of the their terminals. Well, let's hope the scribes can make sense of it. Get it back to the Citadel and get it to Rothschild as fast as you can. We've got to try and stay a step ahead of the Enclave. Too bad. Liberty hey. Prime got destroyed. At least for now. You won't see, we won't oh. see Liberty Prime again until Fallout 4. Gee, I wonder how he went from the DC area all the way to the Commonwealth. Watch for signs of trouble. Anyways. It is dark. Turn the light on. Here we go. Yeah, the video may seem long right now, but once the editing is done, it won't be as long as you seem it as it as we out think it to be, you know. The the magic of editing. So to be honest, I don't know how long the video is going to be after the editing is done. So all right, let's go back to the Citadel. Oh my gosh. But on this episode, we finally finished the main campaign and we got to fight the Enclave with Liberty Prime. Then we find ourselves having to turn on the water purifier, which we did. And then we were unconscious for two weeks. We wake up two weeks later and now we're doing the Broken Steel DLC for Fallout 3 now. I just, I can't believe it. All those years of work, all of it. For what? One botched operation? I'm still waiting on the debriefing from Tristan, but I'm not sure it even matters. With Prime gone... I'm sorry about the robot, but there wasn't anything anyone could have done. It could have been worse. They, they could have attacked the Citadel. Well, there's certainly nothing stopping them from doing that now, is there? And with our primary defense gone, I don't know what we can do to stop them. I need more to work with. I found some encrypted data on the relay station. Ah, yes. Well, I'll see if we can't figure out how to read it. Perhaps it can give us some insight as to just what happened out there. It would be good to salvage something from this mess. Thank you for bringing this to me. I believe Elder Lyons will want to speak with you as well. Perhaps you should find him. If you'll excuse me. All right. We gotta go talk to Elder Lyons.
Most of the time when I play Fallout 3, I always grab Paladin Cross or Dog Meat. In this case of this Let's Play, we haven't even found Dog Meat yet. So, we ended up with Star Paladin Cross. And we still need to go... We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We still need to visit Vault, Vault, Vault 101 again. So we'll be doing that in the, in the next episode. We're not done yet. Need something, friend? Well, I trust you've spoken with Rothschild. I hope he can make some headway with the data you've recovered. With our primary weapon destroyed, we risk losing our momentum and jeopardizing the entire campaign. I must admit, I now wonder whether moving ahead with this operation was an error in judgment. You couldn't have known this would have... this would happen. No one knew. Well, it's too late to turn back now. Now, now is not really the time to be getting cold feet. And yet, here we are. Discounting the fact that our best field commander is in a coma, and I personal feelings for my daughter, Things have not gone well. If we fail now, we could lose everything. We have to keep fighting them. We can't back down now. Everyone here believes in you and in the Brotherhood. We can do this. I sincerely hope you are right. If we are to succeed now, it will once again be largely thanks to you. Paladin Tristan has requested you for a special assignment. Please, report to him at once. We've little time to waste before the Enclave seizes this opportunity. I'd like to know... Yeah. Let's go. Of course. Alright, so... We made a lot of progress. We finally... Finally... Beat the main campaign. But before we go... Let's check the radio broadcast. Okay. In the next episode, we are going back into Vault 101. We are not done yet. We still got more of Broken Steel to do as well. So in the next episode, we're going to go back into Vault 101 to see what's been going on in there. Okay. Okay. This is where we're going to end it here for now. But, hope you guys enjoyed up to this point. If you did, don't forget to click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add to fairs, and click that subscribe button. And also click the notification bell to know when I upload new videos. So, I know I kept repeating myself. We finally beat the campaign of Fallout 3. And we're on to Fallout 3 broken steel which is the very first dlc release for fallout 3 and after we do broken steel we will be doing point lookout i might also do operation anchorage as well we'll see and then we'll also be doing uh the other dlcs for fallout 3 as well after that some of them might be later down the line not right away so yeah once we do we finish Point Lookout and Broke of Steel. We're going to be pausing for a bit and then we'll continue from there. But yeah, technically Broken Steel is sort of the finishing touch to the main campaign anyways, where it gets you into the Brotherhood of Steel and you finally become a Brotherhood of, St Brotherhood of Steel Knight, basically. But yeah. Hope See you guys next time, and I hope you guys enjoyed it up to this point. We finished the main campaign anyways, I've so been here before. see you guys next time. Make sure to save it. I got a lot of editing to do.